Now, uh, if you could explain what do you do here? Yeah, we're here to spread the good news of the kingdom of God. And what's the good news? The good news is that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And if we give ourselves, if we accept that sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross of Calvary, then we have that uh, blessed cut. Uh -huh. But uh, can I ask you, why, do you, why don't you give out Bibles then? Why don't we give out, give out Bibles? We do give out Bibles, but we've run out of Bibles. But the books we're giving out here today, they point you back to the Bible. They take you back to the Bible. They don't take away from the Bible, but they do take you back to the Bible. I, I'll be honest with you, I only see Seventh-day Adventists giving out the great controversy books. Yeah, so the great controversy um, is a book that brings all the prophecies of the Bible together. The Daniel and the Revelation. Yeah. And puts, puts them in one place mm -hmm. and makes it easier for people to understand. Because a lot of people don't understand the book of Daniel. Mm -hmm. and don't understand the book of Revelation. A lot of people in fact say that the book of Revelation is a closed book. It's a book of allegory, which means no one can understand it. But the book of Revelation, it starts by saying, this is the revelation of Jesus Christ. So it's an open book. It's the book of Daniel that was closed until so the end is that of the, Are these two the most important books of the Bible for you? Um, they're not the most important books in the Bible for us, but they form part of one of the most important books because they are the most uh, misunderstood books in the Bible uh, today. I mean, personally, I give out books of John. The, John. Yeah, because yeah, I good. think that's the gospel, and I think uh, that's another gospel. Oh, it's not another gospel, really, if you look at it. Because basically, when you look at uh, the book of Daniel, mm -hmm. it talks about the 2,300 days. It talks about uh, when Jesus will be born, all right, what would happen to Jesus, mm -hmm. and what would eventually, would eventually happen to uh, uh, to the message that it will be taken to the rest of the world. And then when you look at the book of Revelation, the book of Revelation helps to explain the, symbol, the symbols that were used in the book of Daniel, which if you look in relationship to the history today, you are able to identify that actually these prophecies, a lot of them have fulfilled. That's the only way. So the book is only to bring back together all the books of the Bible. Because basically this book, the Great Controversy, starts with the, uh, with the destruction of Jerusalem, which was a, pro which was a prophecy. That Jesus uh, told the disciples. Mm -hmm. It was fulfilled in 70 AD, I think. Yeah, 70 AD was fulfilled. Yeah. You know, so basically, it brings that one into. It gives more details of what happened uh, at the fulfillment of that prophecy. I mean, personally, uh, anyway, thank you for your time and for explaining. Personally, I would respect this kind of denomination more if they were giving out Bibles. Yeah, you see, um, that's my opinion because you only give out this. LNG white books and uh, I you know you say you've run out but every time I see Seventh-day Adventists that's all they give out they never yeah. give so out Bibles so that's we, like we're happy. The, we're happy if you give us a donation to yeah. buy more Bibles we, but we, whoever is funding you should give Bibles so, so if we somebody fund it, we fund it ourselves okay yeah and whoever, whoever yeah. is willing and whoever has money uh, they can donate and we can buy yeah. more books more Bibles and bring yeah. them down here Bibles are a bit more expensive you know what I'm saying well, I buy books yeah. of John for 30p which I'm sure is cheaper than this if you look on uh, no, it's, 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 the say, pocket, but uh, so the pocket sized Bibles the answer is in this free book. It's a website you can buy them, but anyway, um, yeah, yeah, you can buy Bibles for a pound as well. I just think that this is uh, additional, um, but anyway, thank you for your time. Thank you, God bless you. Yeah, I spoke to the Seventh day Adventists, um, you know. The guy didn't know what the gospel is, but personally, I don't understand why they don't give out gospel books. They should have run out. I've never seen them give out gospel books.